getting the feeling like someone's got something to say. So, let's see what they got to say. I'm working on turning this into a regular card deck. Words are spells. Be careful what you say. Words are spells. Be careful what you listen to is the energy that I'm getting to, right? And it's been a big message that I've been getting lately. There's a huge divide starting to happen. I don't know if you guys have been feeling it, right? There's, um, I've been speaking about it the last couple of days. It's been coming out stronger. What do you want? It's. People are watching too much content, and I was saying that years ago, too. People are watching, like, how to catch an Aries, or, you know, how to, you know, seduce women, how to seduce men, how to catch a man, how to be a high-value woman, you know, how to be a high-valued man. You should be, you know, talking to nine girls at once, or you should be talking to five guys, you know. I, just, I heard one guy say that. I was like, I... I I'm a dating coach, and I suggest that all my female clients should be talking to at least five guys at any given time. And it's just like, it's just wasting time. It's wasting time. What do you want out of life? Just focus on that, and then focus on yourself until what you want in life starts appearing for you. Right? Because you'll mess up what you want. You'll mess up things that the universe is trying to give you. Being somebody you're not playing games, right? It reminds me, like, like even, like, back in the 90s, it was a thing. It was, like, it was that movie Clueless where they're talking about, like, oh, you can't call them back right away. You gotta wait three days to call somebody. Da, 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 da. And, you know, you have to string them along and you have to do this and you have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever let anybody tell you that they're better than you. Well, that's pretty much it. People are trying to be looking up to people who are better than them, which is fine if you're doing that to, like, inspire yourself. But if it's just leading you to beat yourself up, up all the time, then, yeah, the universe is trying to mess with me, and I refuse to engage. The universe is trying to mess with you. It's always trying to mess with you. Whenever there starts to be... They don't want certain energies coming together. You know what I'm saying? The whole point of raising the frequencies is you, we are in opposition with those who don't want to raise their frequencies. You just need to choose who you want to be around, right? And what energies you want to feed. I'm tired of this bickering back and forth between this battle of the sexes that is going on here. The best curse ever. May the full horror of your actions be revealed to you. Yeah, there's been this battle, and it's funny that came out with this battle of the sexes that's playing right now, right? Everybody's out to get somebody. Everybody's out for revenge. Everybody's like, oh, oh, it's okay to use, like, it's, it's, it's this toxic circle that goes around and around and around. Men feel like it's okay to use women because they feel like women are using men, and women feel like it's okay to use men because men are using women. And it's like, you know what, you can, you can be in the group of people who are just using each other or you can lean towards people that are of a different frequency you're gonna have to break out of your comfort zones do or do not there is no try she only sleeps when it's raining you're so vain i bet this song is about you i bet you think this song is about you definitely got the energy of people who like it i can't yeah I get a feminine energy that's exhausted right now, right? She's exhausted, and she's like, yeah, I bet you're so vain. I bet you think this song is about you, right? You, this person deals with narcissists, right? I bet everything that they post online somebody thinks is about them, right? Probably multiple people do it to them too, right? And it's like, no, I wasn't talking about you, but if the shoe fits, feel free to lace it up. Yeah, she paints her face to hide her face, her eyes of deep water. It's not for a geisha to want. It's not for a geisha to feel. Like artist is, a geisha is an artist of the floating world. She dances, she sings, she entertains you, whatever you want. The rest is secrets, the rest is shadows. Sometimes the only payoff for having any faith is when it's tested over and over again every day. 
message from the memoirs of a geisha, right? I'm going to talk about a weird love story. She does end up with the person that puts her on her path in the end. Right? Now that's a lesson in Twin Flames. Right? How difficult that journey and that adventure was. If you've never seen that movie, definitely go watch it. It's not what you're called, it's what you answer to, right? Geishas were not prostitutes. That's, you know, watch that movie and find out what an actual geisha was. Life has been good to me so far. Don't ever put me in a situation where I have to show you how heartless I can be. A lotus could not bloom in a garden built for a rose. Never underestimate the predictability of stupidity. Yeah, when you kind of watch that person and you're like, really? Really, we're going to play that game? What? This is, this is extremely predictable. Never underestimate the predictability of stupidity. Anything else? Yeah, you're the type to have loose lips, show a gun, but don't shoot shit. You act hard, but don't do shit. Fuck you and your crew, bitch. Funny how a melody sounds like a memory. Oh, see, look, all that hostile energy, but then the last card that flies out when I'm about to put the deck up is, but mostly I hate the way that I don't hate you. Not even a little bit, not even at all. Well, that ain't not the downside of being the empath, right? It's really not. Because what you feel, you even feel, you feel sorry for assholes. Let's get a past life energy here. You feel sorry for assholes. It's like what? You look at them and you, and you understand their, like, you figure out their story of why they're being jaded or why they're acting the way they are. And you understand what, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you understand the moral code here, right? I get you understand why someone's defensive. Something about written messages here. Get the sense that somebody Some trouble with finances here. There's something about written messages here. Knighthood, monk or nun. Egypt, I get the Mediterranean culture here. With the knights here, I get the spread, the spread of Rome, the Roman Catholic Church here. I get, with this monk or nun energy, right, I get someone definitely had to be some distance if they had these um, energies. I just get the energies of separation that have happened before. Like this wasn't uncommon. People traveled around. Sometimes, you know, it took weeks to travel places. You know, there's energies of their phobias. I get phobias about someone being celibate, being truthful, being honorable, right? With that monk and nun energy. Someone could worry about another person's safety a lot. They don't know why they worry about this person's safety, but they just can't help it. Yeah, look at that. What did I say? What did I say? Right? This person could be um, also very much guided by the angels here. So there's definitely a lot of the biblical references in there. So there definitely could be a lot of energy around that, right? Someone could have an affinity for angels. For sure. Yeah, that's funny. I love it when I call stuff. Ah, wars and battles. Yeah. I've been picking this energy up a lot lately.
see what shadows are we dragging from this past life. Do a little bit more on these phobias. Could even be like Europe during the Crusading Eras too. Just when there's cultures, just times of war and battles. Could be both. Funny how humans cycle over and over again. That's why you think it might be. That's where the simulation idea comes from, right? It's like each time the same conflicts come up again. Colorless angel. Someone might feel abandoned by the angels right now. They could have an affinity for angels and feel disconnected. Energy of a revenge here. Somebody's angry. Revenge and atonement here. We got three energies here for sure. This is why there's a worry. That's why there's phobias about it. That's why there's um, people thinking that other people can't be truthful, can't be honest, can't be faithful. I'm sorry if you're not into my channel. This is a channel where like we talk about monogamy. I'm sorry. It's just how it rolls over here. We believe in energy exchange and the power of that. And it's, yeah. Someone definitely, they feel... They're going through an ego death. They're not being abandoned by their angels. They're being humbled by their angels right now, right? For their pride here. We've got someone who's putting off a ugly energy here. Somebody wants revenge. Somebody's putting out a black flower fragrance here, right? Someone's putting out that shit witch type of energy, right? That angry energy, that bitter energy, right? We've got someone who's definitely been a victim in these games, right? Whatever's going on with this revenge, this person doesn't even care that people are stabbing them on the back, right? They're still standing up. They're still facing the dawn. They're still stepping forward, right? And they get the kind of energy of what this is atonement, right? You haven't been perfect your whole life, right? Karma was going to come back in some way, shape, or form. And whatever's going on now is atonement from when you weren't in such a great headspace and time. You know, us older which is we don't preach against hexing and revenge and stuff like that because we know we don't know nothing about it. We know about it. You know what I'm saying? We know what happens in the end. We know how that really rolls, right? I feel like this person feels extremely vulnerable. Right? Naked before the stars. This person is burying their soul. This person is being who they are unapologetically and they're like they're tired of it. They're like, "Go ahead." Be who I am, and you guys, you know, get the kind of energy of like I'd be who I can be who I am before the stars, and that's all they're worried about. They're not worried about the people behind them. Well, they say that, but it popping up here is they feel they do feel vulnerable. The energy between these two people is veiled, it's foggy, there's a lot of uh, energy around it that I'm picking up, right? And the Fogs card is always about, like, you're not disconnected, you're not lost, you're not stuck, it's just fogged, you just can't see where to go right now, and the angels are like, if you just chill out for a second, take a breath, just get past this point, right? Right, I, the Nine of Cups even showed up a little bit reversed there, right? You know, it's like... Center yourself. Remember what it is that you're working for. There's a lot of Gaia and nurturing energy here. Like I said, and this is over these two energies, right? There's definitely a calling for turning back into turning to Gaia, Mother Earth's nurturing energy here. Even for the masculine here, it's like, you know, the fail and fog, fog is, I always say, it's like, it's stupid to try to pack up camp and start moving when you can't even see the trails. Relax, sit back, put your, you know, back up against a tree and wait, wait till you can see what you're doing. Wait till you can see where you're going.
King of Cups going twice here now. It's definitely the energy. Like I said, we got a rite of passage here with the Six of Swords on the 5D. Someone's having to conquer some very toxic connections here. Definitely, ooh, 888. 888 could be a big number for somebody today. Um, I got the energy. We got this Jack of Swords here, and I've got, like, they're being watched. I don't know. They got, like, a, I'm getting a dark energy pixie around them, right? This person's sitting on a little hookah here, right? And I'm just picking up the energy of someone who could be on, like, opioids, right? Like, I'm not picking up just, like, a basic stoner energy. I'm getting, like, somebody's really watching somebody because I just get the energy of, like, possibly an enabler here. Or someone who's enabled by the situation. They're really paying attention to this jack of swords. They want to know what they're going to do, right? There's no movement happening right now. And there's no victory, right? And there's something about trying to overcome the past with this energy, right? This person is stuck. They're stuck and I feel like they're watched very, very closely. And that's why they feel like they can't do anything, right? Because you got the Eight of Swords with the Eight of Cups, right? I just get the sense of like imprisoned by their past. Like they can't escape their past for whatever reason. Right, got five of sword, uh, wands all the way up here, and it's because people don't want this person to escape their past. Why? Because if they escape their past, then other people have no excuse, right? You got to be, you really have to pay attention to the people around you. Do they really want you to succeed? Because if they don't, then you're putting yourself into this detriment, right? There's major towers happening here, right? Someone is in a hermit mode. They're trying to, they're very passionate, right? And I got a Knight of Stabs above of it, right? They do feel passionate about trying to make a move towards someplace. It's weird that they showed all this stuck energy on the 3D. But they are very passionate. They do want to come into abundance and they want to come into a union. They want to come into celebration with somebody, right? They're trying to figure out how, though. They feel like there's like a wall of fire separating them. Right, they're like, they don't know how to get past that to get to. And they want this energy, right? This isn't just about like, but see, this is the difference between lust and love and abundance and greed. This person doesn't just want to come in for purely sexual reasons, right? There isn't the night of stabs here. They are very attracted to these other energies, but... They want to be able to come into a celebration, right? To be able to come into a place where everybody could be abundant, right? But there's some sort of energy here. There's this wall of fire that's in the way. And I get that it's a tower that's not fully done burning yet, right? This person, someone is definitely in hermit mode, right? They're to the point right now where they're restoring their energy. They want to be on their own. Yeah, because they're tired of interference in their life. Right, we got the Knight of Cups here on the bottom too. Knight of Stabs in the middle, right? And I love how it fell out like over this person here. They're trying to overcome these vengeful people here that are in between them, right? Because we got the Three of Cups and it's like you can't come into union. It's fake. Every time you try to come into union with these people, they just beat you down and end up screwing you over every single time. Right? The only way to get past these people is to get past these people. I get the energy that someone literally needs to make some serious movement away from these toxic people, right?
whatever this Three of Cups union that this person, this energy, thought that they'd like, this is why they feel like, why can't they accomplish this? Because it's too good to be true. You can't bring a union together, right? These people come in together, and yeah, they might get along for a holiday, or they might get along for the sake of the family, or a company party, or whatever the hell it is, right? They'll play nice for events, but you got to understand that when it comes down to it, they don't want other people to get better because they don't want to get better. It's all there is to it. It's a fucking pipe dream, right? It's what's causing all this anxiety. What you have an unrealistic expectation of what you think you're going to be able to accomplish here. Seriously, you need to learn how to let the damn past go like actually let it go like not have it sit there you know what did that one comedian say i think her name is taylor, taylor tomlinson she's so funny she talks about nightmares she cracks me up um he talked about how like people have people blocked and it's like oh yeah you got them blocked but you really didn't get past them because blocked is just having them in another folder in your phone right Yeah, I get the sense that somebody's very guided towards a certain decision that they have to make, but they don't want to make it because they're acting childish. I got there's victory and balance in following your heart here. Someone's got some secrets, this magician. Yeah, I just got the energy of one person saw another person for the situations that they were putting themselves in. It's like, you know, you're crying about how something is so oppressive, but you don't want to do anything to change it, right? And it's like, this person's like, felt like, you were trying to force them to change, and it was like, well, no, but if you want a new beginning, then we genuinely have to have a new beginning. You can't be carrying all of your fucking past, right? I get the energy of, what, if you keep using the same bricks from that tower, you're going to just build the same tower again. That's not a new beginning. That's just restarting the cycle either with somebody else or trying to drag somebody into your toxic fucking bullshit cycles, right? That's not a new beginning. That's not that's not what a real new beginning is. You need to someone needs to swallow the sword of truth here. What? They ignored the universe when it was guiding them, right? I get they acted immature, especially with money, right? They were immature with money. That's what started the seeds of these. And that's what started all of this. They were immature with money. They might have lied about money, about how much they had, right? Because they were worried about what people thought of them. They were trying to impress a new connection, but they hadn't released the connections over here. So it's like, how long did you think you were going to able to hold up that charade? Right? People lie about the stupidest shit, and then you have all these people from your past around that are just straight up telling everybody. You're like, you know, this person lies about this. They lie about that, right? Yeah. <laughs> who, who are you trying to play here? Who are you trying to play? You know what the difference between the Empress and a basic bitch is? Basic bitches don't understand bills. Basic bitches don't understand car payments. Basic bitches don't understand how much kids actually cost. Basic bitches really don't fucking get it, do they? Right? An empress can look at your whole fucking situation. They can look at what you do for a living. What all your cars are. What are the, you know, where you are and shit. And they can look and see. And they can see the difference between wealth and debt. Right? 
Now I get this person can also see through this person's bullshit too, right? Like this is this is the game. This is the game. Two chess. You know, hmm. This is a victory for these two. What do we got? <laughs> can I make it up? I guess somebody's been left out of the cold. They have been left out in the cold, and it is this separation has strengthened this connection, right? It's kind of what's causing these towers, right? There's inevitable now. It's an inevitable tower. The seeds have been planted, right? And justice is balancing itself out, right? I get that a king of swords here, right? We got a knight of swords, someone who likes to watch um, and pay attention to people, right? They could they could be a little stalky on the internet and stuff like that with you, right? But I get that they got this ten of staves, right? And instead of being imprisoned by it or oppressed by it, whatever it is is giving them this passion. It's giving them passion to carry the rest of these shafts. Like they feel like they can bear these burdens better because they have this passionate staff that they can use to help them right carry this stuff the king of swords he's trying starting to wise up getting a little bit smarter right more observant getting more in control of their thoughts and their words right and it's really just the inspiration of this connection that's the two twin cards there We got a high priestess here that could be a bit of victim planning here, right? We got the ten of swords. We got a high priestess that could be acting like a bit of a drama queen, right? She could be a little be being a little pissy, a little testy, a little bit of a drama queen here. I just get the sense because she, the, the world cards after this, and it's just like, you know, that's the manifesting energy. It's like, dude, it's like can manifest so much more than these petty ass situations, right? Yeah, you can manifest so much more than these petty ass situations if you could just move past them, right? And see them for what they fucking are. Knight of Coins here. I like the Knight of Coins. It's all about the manifesting mode. That's what we used to call it anyway. And it's really about... Embodying the energy where you attract in, you draw good things into you, right? You draw good things towards you. It's a lot of night energy here too. Somebody's very guarded about all this stuff as well. Like the masculine definitely could be very guarded about their finances and things like that. They could be wanting to come and make a gift, right? They're either coming in to want to make a gift or they're trying to set it up to where they're attracting more abundance into their life. Nine of coins, three of staffs. Oh, I get like, yeah, they're waiting for a ship to come in. They're in hermit mode. They're in love. They acted like an immature. They got a queen of swords. They got a, definitely an energy that's watching them and observing them. They're observing this king of coins. They want to know if he's going to come into the... They want to know. They want to know if something's coming in for them. They Because this person's attached to your fucking energy. This is what gets me with this dumb shit. Right? It's like, how does this person know? How do they sense something's coming? Because women have intuition, just naturally. What we can tell when the energy fucking changes and shit. They know when you're acting a little funny. Like, we're not stupid. Right, they can tell. <laughs> you guys aren't as slick as you think you are, right? It's really time to start changing your perspective, especially if you're one of these really strong twin type connections, right? This king of staves needs to this this masculine energy needs to learn where they're causing these five of swords situations because they keep these three of swords situations alive. They don't let go of the past. They're trying to sneak around with these three of swords situations. And then they wonder why. And then they cry. Oh, I got stabbed. I've been stabbed in the heart. So that's why I'm such a shitty person. They see this queen of cups, though, as a ten of cups situation, right? That's what it is. It's like this energy inspires somebody to change. And they realize what it is they really want. 
but then they mess it up. Yeah, this Queen of Cups comes with the uh, Ten of Coins energy. Ten of Cups, Ten of Coins. Happy home life, happy union, right? Very abundant energy here. Very abundant energy. I want to know. What this vengeful spirit's up to. Right? Because definitely somebody's scared of making a move around this person. Let's see what the snitch has got to say on this. Snitches. What's going on? See what my little birds have got to say today. I got a fool is about to drop his guard a little bit. Someone that like when I say that I said I get someone getting ready to try to take a leap of faith to be vulnerable with somebody. Someone's being very calculated right now. They're looking at this vengeful person. They're, they're looking to be very calculated right now. They're trying to come off as the queen of wands. They're definitely somebody from this person's past, right? This person wants to come in the energy. They're coming in the energy. The nine of cups, the ten of cups, and the eight of pentacles. This is a game, right? This type of energy. Nine of cups, ten of cups. They're coming in as the perfect person because they know what the, they, they're very, very calculated. Whatever they're doing, they've been working on. This is the energy they've been practicing, skills they've been practicing, right? I say this just sounds like, it feels like a love bomb here. Nine of Pentacles reversed. So Nine of Pentacles reversed, Three of Cups, right? Someone is focused on making sure something doesn't come together. So it's a love bomb in order to avoid a union or a coming together. Yeah, this person doesn't want, I got negative judgment, right? This person is casting harsh judgment on these people. They feel like they deserve to be oppressed. They're doing this as a power play. Knight of Wands, Queen of Cups. This person, yeah. Coming in as loving. They're looking for an opportunity to catch your person in lustful type of energy. Knight of Wands is definitely um, usually the player, right? Your masculine is really attracting this. They're they're coming into balance. They're they're getting more they're getting some sort of money in they're getting more money in they're getting they're about to get some kind of money in and that's what this person's really after this person knows your person's about to come into some money somewhere and they're love bombing them so that they can get some they're gonna try to use six ten of swords There's 
a lot of anxiety here with an Empress energy. Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords. I get that they're really defensive against this Empress energy. They don't want this Empress energy around for sure. Something someone's working towards here. I get this King of Swords. So I get this. The Masculine's kind of aware of this. Eight of Wands. There's definitely movement that's wanting to be made. Right? That they're getting ready to make. Get this chariot here. There's a lot of secrets going on here. People don't want other people to know exactly what's going on with each other. Right? Maybe that's the energy too, Emperor. Yeah, they're playing smart. Queen of Pentacles. We got some people that are playing smart. Don't let other people know what you're doing anymore. Six of Swords, yeah, someone's learned a hard lesson here about who to build teams with and who to let you know what's going on, who not to let into your business. Page of Cups. Ten of Wands. There could be kids in this situation here that's, that's used in this situation, right? That's what the that's what's oppressing, right? That's what makes it hard to move. That's what this knight is trying to defend, right? As he makes these leaps, right? He's like, I can only leap so much, but I can't be a total fool about this, right? But they do want a new beginning somewhere. Yeah. They want to let the past die. They want to get away from this energy too. You guys are usually more on the same wavelength than you realize, right? Ace of Swords. Victory getting ready to come. Like it kind of spun around, so I get like I get like somebody's going down, somebody's coming out with the victory. Got the King of Wands. I think the victory is coming from someone being in control of themselves, right? Ah, oh, we get back up to all the way up to the past life energy, right? Being faithful, that monk energy, right? Someone, someone pisses somebody off with that energy for sure. Yeah, death. Death. They're not letting this person touch them anymore, right? This queen is, she is confused. This queen of sword is confused because they're not acting the way they used to, right? They used to be able to control this person with this energy that's how they were able to get them to do these give and take things with them Decision's been made. Yeah, someone's having the strength to defend themselves on this. Give you dude more credit. Give him more credit. I get that this awakening has coming with its ups and downs. Seeing people finally for what they are and how they've been played. Right? I get that this person's a little fogged and veiled right now, just waiting to see what's going to happen with these people. But there's definitely a kind of energy of just keep grounding down and focusing on taking care of you, right? This is the time where it's okay to be vulnerable to the femmes, right? This person, they're going to do themselves in here, right? I get that this person's downcasted pride, I think, is a lot in part of this person, right? Like a lot of their pride was wounded from this situation, right? They're realizing, like, how stupid they were with these people. Like, I hate to say it that way, but I'm just picking that up, right? It's like, whereas you're, you're more of in a realization space of it. It's definitely been going on a long time, y'all. Going on a long, long time. 
I get something along the lines of handwritten letters here, though, still, are going to be very important. Um, don't discredit people. I think that they're different than you giving them credit for, for sure. This person is more honorable than you want to, and I think part of the reason that they feel like a colorless angel is because they're more virtuous than you're giving them credit for. It's like, I think you're... you're yeah. Truthfully, I feel like you're not giving them enough credit, right? Blessed be all those who walk these weird and winding paths with me. I love y'all, and I'll be back as soon as I can, I promise.